Golf isn't exactly known as the most accessible sport. It's expensive, time-consuming, and some of the top courses are private. It's the game of business of the wealthy and powerful. So it's no surprise that golf's demographics look a lot like America's boardrooms. Golf's traditions have often kept women and minorities out of the game. I want women to be able to go to that golf outing in the corporate environment and play golf and not have to go back to the hotel while all the guys go to the golf range. And I've, I've seen that. Condoleezza Rice wants more women to use golf like men to get ahead in their careers. The former U.S. Secretary of State headlines KPMG's Women's Leadership Summit, where women can hone their skills so they can make more deals on the green. But can a sport that's historically restrictive make the boardroom more inclusive? Women weren't even admitted as members to one of golf's most exclusive clubs, Augusta National, until 2012. Rice was one of the first. Golf hasn't historically been very inclusive, um, and it kind of still has that reputation. Do you think that it perpetuates inequality in the boardroom at all? Well, it, I don't think it perpetuates inequality. Sometimes I think people feel that golf clubs are not that welcoming, um, and so golf has to work hard to get people into the game who are different. I didn't play golf when I was first uh, on corporate boards, and, and very often uh, a lot happens there. It's not that they're really doing business, but they're socializing, they're getting to know each other, and that's important in the corporate environment too. The women here are already accomplished professionals. The 200 attendees were chosen by their companies because they have C-suite potential. But there's still a sense that golf is a tool that's missing from their bag. Men are fortunate because, you know, they're in those spaces and they're having those relationships. So you, there definitely is a sense that, you know, men are taking advantage of this. This is something that you are aware of in your work environment that you're kind of missing out on. Absolutely, absolutely. It's probably the number one avenue that men use to create re relationships organically outside of the workplace. KPMG hopes the summit will introduce more women to the game and help them tee up the next stage in their careers. There's an intimidation factor about golf. Y you hear men especially talk about golf a lot and you think, wow, they must be really great. And then I think the th gr great thing about golf is you go out there and you say, well, they're not so good. <laughs> I can play. And then I think there's also um, having the confidence to know that you have what it takes to go for it. You may not have seen somebody just like you in a role that you're aspiring to, but that doesn't mean you don't have what it takes to do it. And for the attendees, golf will help them take another shot at the glass ceiling. Do you think you'll pick up golf and use it? I honestly do. I feel more empowered. As of yesterday, I'm a little bit more dangerous.